Have you ever seen a spider that lives underwater? Or a fish that looks like Frankenstein? How about a lizard fish with razor sharp fangs? These are the weird creatures of the deep sea. Hi, I'm Andy. At KiwiCo, we love learning about strange science. And the deep sea is about as strange as it gets. If you've ever been to the beach, you know how big the ocean seems when you stand next to it. Well, our planet is made up of about 70% ocean, and the surface that we see is just the start. The ocean has a lot of layers. The farther you go down, the darker and colder it gets because sunlight can't reach. And all that water above gets super heavy, so there's lots of water pressure. That's when water pushes down on you really hard. Even with scuba gear, humans aren't built to handle that pressure. So to explore the deep sea, Scientists have to use special machines. Submersibles, aka subs, are vehicles that can travel underwater. They're typically used for science and exploration. The kinds that can carry scientists are called Human Occupied Vehicles, or HOVs for short. This is a real-life HOV named Alvin. It's spent almost 50 years exploring the deep sea. Alvin can carry two scientists and a pilot, on a 4 mile or 6,500 meter trip down to the seafloor. These dives can last up to 10 hours. That's a long time to be in a sub the size of a small car. Some submersibles allow scientists to explore the seafloor from the surface. They're called Remotely Operated Vehicles, or ROVs. This is a real life ROV called Deep Discoverer, but scientists nicknamed it D2. Scientists control D2 above water from a massive ship. Without humans on board, D2 can spend a lot more time on the seafloor. The cool thing is, D2 has a super clear camera so he can see everything it encounters in its explorations, including deep sea creatures. And its robotic arms can collect new species so scientists can study them. HOVs like Alvin and ROVs like D2 have helped us learn more about life down below. For example, deep sea creatures have some very special features that help them survive in the dark with very little food and a lot of water pressure. And that's why they look so strange. Remember the deep sea lizard fish? It uses its big mouth and sharp teeth to eat anything it meets, even other lizard fish. That's pretty helpful considering there isn't much life this far down. The frankenfish is actually called a chimera and it has no bones in its body. Its skeleton is made of lightweight, bendy stuff called cartilage, the same stuff that your ears and nose are made of. And back to our beloved sea spider. This species grows to almost three feet or one meter wide. These spiders breathe through the hard covering that protects their bodies. Deep sea scientists are discovering new creatures all the time. There's still so much to learn about the ocean floor. And while I can't wait to see the next new species, I'm glad it will live really, really far under the sea. With the Deep Sea Discovery Kiwi Crate, you can build your own anglerfish and scoop up other creatures of the deep. Check out kiwico.com to get your crate. And if you want to learn about how we design this crate and think up your very own deep sea creature, watch our video here. We can't wait to see what you create.